Noel rings me the other day. He says, you'll never guess what's happened. You might need to sit down. I'm thinking straight away, you've crashed the car, car's broken down. Is it anything to do with the car? Are you okay? He said, this might take a while, I'll tell you. So the context of this story is that Noel was on the way to Tralee. He was looking for uh, some mesh and stakes and the stuff he might need to build a little cage around the tree. He just pulled in at the car park. I had said to him on the phone, you need the, the evidence of what you've been doing through the day. And he's saying, well, it's just a car park. It's like nothing interesting. That's not who's going to want to see that. But I said, it's part of telling the story. Just take some video off or photograph. So he must have got out of the car and he was doing this with the camera. And uh, while he was doing this, this lady started walking towards him and he thought, is she going to tell me off? Is she going to say, you know, have you got me on camera without asking my permission? Anyway, she said, are you no? He said, yes. And she said, I've been watching you on YouTube. We follow your channel and, you know, we love seeing what you've been doing with the house and everything like that. Could not believe it. You just don't really think that it has any resemblance to the world out there. It's just something that we're doing for family and friends and anybody that's interested in seeing it. It's not like we're Chateau Diaries. What are the chances of that? Bernadette, thank you for doing it. You really made our day. Noel said, Jill just won't believe this. So he asked you if you'd mind taking, you know, letting him take a photograph, a selfie with him which he then sent to me because I probably wouldn't have believed him. But uh, it was just lovely to know that there's that connection with people in the real world. And so what I'd say, Bernadette, is please keep watching, do keep in touch. And when we move in, in two years time or, or thereabouts, we'll have a housewarming and you must come and visit us. And that goes for anybody that might be watching in the Kerry area. You know, let's hope we can build a little network of people. Look forward to that day of having a big party and celebrating together. just at my allotment. It's a beautiful day. I cannot believe it's October. It's so warm. So it's just spending a little bit of time outdoors, aren't we, Roy? You love it here. Can you hear the bees? so many seeds oh, apart from this one over here and that's even smaller so this bit in the top field we've just had leveled out see the four blocks there we leveled out with the laser yesterday hopefully that's going to be where the container goes that should be arriving tomorrow very exciting very excited about that. So here's a big pile of tree roots here. I don't know if you can see them, just down by the side. I'll get a closer look in a minute. Those have all been pulled out of the ground at the side of the house. We'll have a walk around there in a sec and show you the utter devastation we wreaked on the landscape. There's still a few trees at the back of the house. 
hopefully we'll be holding on to those ones that are far enough away from the from the walls of the house next week all these logs will be disappearing they'll be going up in the top field there somewhere in order that all these other stumps can be pulled out and this area leveled there's one last tree just a lone tree there it'll be coming down too it looks very different at the moment but uh, it just feels like we're breaking eggs at the moment we're not actually making any omelettes so as you see everything's changing very rapidly the actual post there with the corner of the extension so you can see it's a fair way out from the side of the house that's the corner of the extension here we are just a massive tangle of roots and stumps and mud that's one of the big boys there look and there's still this is a, this all came out the side of the house here you see there's a couple more of big ones down there maybe two or three and this was all all done just in order to get the ESB cable in has to run from the pole there it has to go up to where near where the trees are and across to here down the side of the house where there will be an electricity box fixed on the outside wall here so all this area has to be cleared the stake there you see the is the line of the ESB conduit that has to be laid so that's a big job but one day we'll have electricity and then in in the side there was where the septic tank will go and that will run down to the polishing filter at the bottom and there's a big pile of logs again ready to be moved there was a big pile of wood chips here so well it's still there but we've uh, managed to open the far side of it I might walk up there and let you have a look we've opened the far side of it to try and drain some water away from the side of the house it's cut a wee trench here just in order to try and stop and lead away some of the water that now runs right round the house to the front here and across the yard back down into the field into the original ditch that ran down the side there one of the next jobs is to move this big mound here which was the original hay barn so we imagine what's happened at some point is because they've dug the side of the house away they've just mounded all the earth up into the old hay barn it's not great but uh, that should come out quite easily a lot of that material that's there it's fairly it's all right I suppose that'll be going down to fill the area down to the uh, polishing filter tank at the bottom of the hill there so that's it the week that was